In the name of Allah, the merciful, we will start with the domain A, supportive surface department and related measures. A.3, Laundry Department. The total number of elements is 8 and activities for the auditing are documents, staff review, observation. And the score will be 0, 1, 2 or not applicable. E. 3.1 There is a written policy and procedure for learning management. Example, collection, transportation, storing, sorting, washing, and dispensing, and is evaluated by documents. A review the policy, which should be comprehensive. It covers all aspects of IBC regarding learning management. Fully applicable, all elements of the policy can be applied and comply with the hospital scope of service. Based on scientific reference, approved by MOH, GCC, CDC, WHO, and LEBEC. Sign from authorized person, example, owner of the policy, hospital director or medical director, concern department. Approved by IBC committee, valid up to within two to three years, and when indicated. A. 3.2 The workflow is unidirectional from the salt area to the clean area with complete physical separation between them and is evaluated by observation and interview. E. 3.3 Hand hygiene facilities and supplies are available and easy accessible and is evaluated by observation. Absorb hand hygiene facilities in different zone of the laundry. Number one, there are adequate hand washing facilities occupied with all required supplies. Number two, availability of alcohol based hand rub dispenser in all working area in personal support area. E. 3.4 Dirty linen is separated from clean linen during collection and transport and linen carts. Useful clean and dirty linen are clearly identified and is evaluated by observation. E. 3.5 All workers who handle the soil textile follow the standard precaution and is evaluated by observation and interview. Absorb handling soil textile in both patient care area and the laundry area. Number one, personnel who handle soil health care textile apply standard precaution all the time. Number two, check the availability of required PPE in patient care areas and laundry area. Number three, check the quality of the laundry bag or container. Ask personnel in both patient care areas and laundry areas about handling healthcare textile. Number one, what are the required precautions that should be followed during handling healthcare textile? Number two, what is the color code of the laundry bag or containers used for collection and transport textile from isolation rooms? E3.6 During the high temperature washing cycle, water temperature is a minimum of 71 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes. And this is recorded and is evaluated by document, observation, and interview. E3.7 During low temperature washing cycle, 22 to 50 degrees centigrade. Sodium hypochlorite is added as chemical disinfectant during bleach washing cycle with residual bleach 50 to 150 ppm and is monitored and is evaluated by documents, observation, and review. Review the following documents of these two elements. Number one, records of high temperature washing cycle include monitoring and control of washing cycle. Number two, records of low temperature washing cycle including monitoring and control of used chemicals. 
Number three, PPM for washing machine with the a quality check for different parameter of washing cycles. Number four, intervention record for abnormal temperature and failure situation. Ask laundry supervisor and or, or responsible personnel. Number one, how can you classify different healthcare textile to choose appropriate washing cycle? Number two, for textile that would stand high temperature washing cycle, how can you adjust the washing cycle parameters? Number three, for textile that cannot withstand high temperature washing cycle, how can you adjust the washing cycle parameters? Number four, what are the different phases and expected parameter of selected washing cycle? E 3.8 protein inspection for blood and body fluid stain is conducting after washing and is evaluated by observation and interview. Ask laundry supervisor or responsible personnel. How do you ensure that the process textile meet the approved requirement and expectation of the user? And how do you manage a process textile that fail to meet the approved requirement and expectation of user? Thank you for listening.